draw for next season? Uh, it's exciting, first of all, to get back in Adelaide. I think we're the only team who haven't played a home game in the six years or however long we've uh, been playing the tournament. So we've been well travelled in that time and uh, looking forward to playing in front of some of our fans, but just being at home and, and playing some games. Is that a bit of a weakness with the one day comp that it was all being played in one city and so no one could really associate with it? Yeah, I think it was disappointing for, first of all, for the second members to not be able to watch their team play some one day cricket. Um, I think it was a good idea at first to have it all together like a tournament, like a World Cup, but um, it's nice now that they've turned it around. We get to play even at the MCG um, for some of our young guys coming through. That's a really good experience to have. So I think it's a really good win for everyone. This ground's come along pretty well. Yeah, it has. Yeah, they've put a lot of money and work into it. Um, and our guys have played some shield games here as well. So it's almost our little home away from Adelaide Oval, which is pretty familiar for everyone now. who We train here a lot. so. As I said, it's just nice to be back in Adelaide playing. Being a part of the World Cup campaign, does that provide any extra motivation for you coming into the season? Uh, not really. I think uh, it was just a nice experience to be a part of. I've kind of come out of nowhere to get that spot. So um, it was just really nice to, to be around that group and something as big as the World Cup. But uh, motivation will probably come closer to the next one if I'm still around playing. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. But it was just a really nice feather in the cap, something to be a part of. And you commence training back now, back pre-season? No, I'm not actually, they've been really good, they've given me a few weeks off, which is nice, um, body feels good, but the mind needs a bit of a break, so there's only so much running drinks and gloves you can kind of put up with for a while, so um, I'll get back into bowling in the next couple of weeks. And how do you think Thursday onwards will pan out Ashes-wise? Well, it's going to be a hot start, I think, um, in Birmingham as well, it's a pretty tough place to win, so if, uh, if we can start well in that first test, um, I think it'll be a really good reading on Australia winning the Ashes, but it's such a tough place to win. So, fingers crossed we can win that first one and go from there. Now, yourself, you know, I guess coming to pre-season with the white and red ball, how do you go about sort of preparing for that? Uh, well, it's, I mean, I don't play a whole lot of red ball cricket, but I think in the end it's it's similar kind of bowling. You just try and bowl the right area, what the coach and the captain wants. But, um, yeah, in the end you just you practice the same no matter what's coming up and then you kind of adjust your skills for different parts of the game but I haven't actually seen many of our boys at training but all reports everyone's training really well and um, I think they're heading up to the Sunshine Coast next week to get outdoors and get out of this bad weather so um, they'll be prime and ready for September out here. You are in the squad, I'll just add another one, you were in the squad the last time the boys won it, just fond memories from you and obviously good having it back here again the one day cup. Yeah I'm not sure, uh, maybe we played the year after, I'm not sure if that was the last game here but uh, yeah, that's that's gone pretty quick the last seven or eight years. So um, if anyone's won a trophy, it's the reason you play the game, I guess, that night kind of celebrating and um, just kind of the memories of... I didn't actually play, but the memories of being in that squad that night. So um, that's why you play. Hopefully we, we're due some success. We're close to some success and we've got some blokes back who are in form and, and playing well. So if we can get our boys back from Australia and get them all together for the the Marsh One Day Cup, then hopefully we can um, make some progress and win a trophy. And how do you think your inclusion in the World Cup will rub off from the rest of the younger players in the sport? Do you think uh, inspire a few of them to spur on the uh, Yeah, that's a good question. You have to ask them. Hopefully hopefully it does. I mean, having guys who have Travis is in the ashes, having him back around once he gets back, that's huge for, for everyone to pick his brain. So um, that's something we've done really well the last couple of years. Without winning a whole lot of games, we've produced a lot of Australian players. So... Once Alex and Travis and those guys get back, I'm sure everyone will walk a bit taller and hopefully it's nothing but positive um, positive impacts on the young guys coming through and that translates to wins and trophies. Cool. Thanks, Thanks very guys. Much. Cool. Cheers.